Hello, everyone. Peter Dennis here. Uh, today, my guest is Tamala Essence. And uh, Tamala is a channeler. I met her probably about a year ago. And it's my pleasure to welcome her here today. So, Tammy, welcome. Hello. It was nice to be here. Oh, very good. Tammy, I think our audience would like to know a little about uh, you. You know, uh, kind of uh, where you grew up, uh, what interested you as a kid, what you might do for a living, things like that. So could you fill us in a little bit, please? Okay. Well, I grew up in, I was born in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, and it was in within the west side of Philadelphia, which happens to be my favorite side because the, the energy. And um, well, I've been all over Philadelphia, but that's where I was uh, born. My favorite things to do as a kid were like really sports, a lot of sports and maybe maybe music, creativity, but mostly sports as a child, as a kid, like basketball and football. You know, I played with the guys and stuff like that. And um, I was never really into the girly stuff, but when it came to music, another side of me came out where it sounded more girly and so those were the things I was interested in as kid as a kid and um actually uh spirituality was a, a part of my childhood too it's just that I was not as aware of it as I am uh today um mm -hmm. yeah so yeah. pretty much yeah I think a lot of us um we're really unaware of our spirituality uh, I grew up in a city where there was all kinds of sports and uh, we just played everything. And, uh, mm -hmm. you know, it was a lot of fun. I guess in those days, parents weren't as uh, vigilant as they are today. And um, as kids, we ran pretty freely. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, I think some of that is missing today among the kids. Uh, well, Tammy, you're a channeler now. How did you get into that business? Well, well. <laughs> That's fun. That's fun to even even think about. Because at 16, I experienced a really heartbreaking uh, breakup. And so I wanted to, you know, get back on the happy disc, you know, so to speak. And I found uh, Abraham, you know, Esther Hicks, who channels Abraham. Mm -hmm. And so they were... Um, you know, going into things such as you can att attract, you know, uh, you know, things like relationships and partners and love and things that you say you don't have anymore, you can attract it back to you. So I was really interested in not so much to get the things back, but the message that she was like, you know, uh, putting across, it got my attention so much so that I actually... I actually wanted to teach it. When I turned mm -hmm. 17, I wanted to teach it. Um, from 17, 18, 19, I'm 26 now. So all the way up to maybe 24 is when I decided consciously that I was going to go ahead and channel. And then that's when I got in touch with uh many psychics online that were letting me know about my psychic abilities and channeling skills that I were, was not tapping into yet. And so I found online Peter, <laughs> Peter, uh, yes. Peter H. Davis, and, you know, had a short conversation and he was, you were really open with me when I first, you know, uh, let you know about the struggle I was going through and how I wanted some assistance and you were willing to assist. And so I got into channeling a little nervous, but you make it really comfortable and I, I'm all in. So, yeah, that's. Well, you really wanted it. That's, that's what impressed me. <laughs> uh, and um, I guess having told me a little about yourself, I, I knew that uh, that was going to happen for you. Uh, it was just a matter of, like any channel, I guess, kind of getting out of the way and letting it happen. And 
So I, I had every uh, indication that you were going to go down. Um, has that changed your life in any ways? In speaking in details, extremely speaking generally, just one level up, and that level up was the uh, the biggest change ever because I now live with my inner being. Mm. I now live with them, and it's fun to wake up every morning and live with you're intervening until you decide that you're wanting to go to sleep. That's fun. So my life is now fun. It's, 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 it's fun. It's fun. It's fun. Well, when you say inner being, I, I guess um, that would be another way of saying your soul. Is that correct? Yeah. 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 You can say, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Getting in touch with our soul, our inner being. Yes, as you say, it is a, a giant step forward in our evolution. And uh, yeah, certainly the channelers that I've been working with, uh, I think, feel somewhat the same way that they're really moving forward spiritually in uh, mm -hmm. many ways. Yeah. Well, you uh, channel your angel, your guardian angel. Okay. And that's um, that's interesting. I, I think you know humans don't know a lot about angels, so I look forward to uh, having another conversation because I've spoken before with Angel Pete. But um, I think our audience will probably learn a little about angels today that maybe they didn't know before. So yeah, you go ahead, bring her in, and um, she and I will have a chat. Okay. <clears throat> if I can breathe a little bit. We are here. here. Yes, you are. Danny uh, always lights up uh, with a big smile when you come through. Yes, we are very excited for yes. this particular interview with you, Peter, for the very first time. Yes. Yes, well, we've chatted before, and uh, I think we're pretty comfortable with each other. But our audience probably doesn't really know a lot about angels. So I was wondering if you would just tell us, what is an angel? Well, you can say an angel is the... F in many ways, angels are defined in whichever way you wish to define that angel, yes. But what an angel truly is, is the fullest form who you really are. And so you are in this physical body and you are source energy within this physical body. And so imagine you leaving your physical body momentarily just to see what it is like to be no longer physical. It is now non-physical and it is now an angel. Yes. And so it is the fullest form of who you really are for you can experience the fullest form of who you really are in the physical, but the angel is the inner being that is within you and is always with you at all times. Yes, the fullest form. It is you, yes, basically speaking. Yes, it is you who you really are. That is interesting. Um, now, what you just described, I think, would also describe the soul, would it not? Or is there a difference? You can say it is the soul, yes. Mm. Because 
your soul is your angel. <laughs> okay. I'm not sure if I'm a little more confused, but... Um, it is more about feeling these words. These words are carrying vibration and energy. And so you can, Peter, when you are saying these words, you can feel what these words are feeling like as you are speaking them. And you can feel what soul feels like vibrationally. It is a vibrational match to angel, angel, soul, soul, angel, your soul. Imagine here, let's clear up some confusion and bring you towards clarity. Yes. Please. Imagine. Yes. You are a person. There is another person. Person A has a soul. Person B has a soul. When the two decide to not necessarily have to be physically, but decide to mate in terms of love and affection, the soul, the souls come together. And that is why one may say, you are my angel guardian. And the other may say to the other, you are my angel guardian. But really they are communicating with their own souls from within. Mm. Are you understanding this more clearly? I think so. Um, now, angels, in um, I think as humans often talk about them, are here to protect us in some way. Is that really the case? You, in a sense, are already safe. And so there is no need for protection for we are guardians and we guide we are guiders more so than protectors okay. because there is no danger okay well it looks to us like there's danger from time to time we drive our cars off cliffs and uh, we stumble and break bones and oh uh, oh we understand this and this is what you may call catastrophe, but in the eyes of source. And we love you so much. The catastrophes can be seen from a positive perspective, a positive point of view. Mm -hmm. It is all about how you are defining these things. Yeah. Do angels ever intervene in human affairs at all? Um, do they... Um, maybe plant thoughts or ideas or alert us to danger in any way like that? Well, in a sense, you can say we are psychic and we can see the vibrational momentum you are, in a sense, creating, yes. And we can see before you, in a sense, what we are really saying is when you are, as you are, creating a momentum forward, yes, we are aware of what that momentum is bringing to you, yes. And we can, if you are in the vibrational vicinity, yes, we can alert you, as you would say, or as Angel T would say, we can, in a sense, we can let you know what is going on within your vibration, yes, within the momentum, yes and what is coming to you due to your output. Yes. Does and so you can get warnings, you can get alerts, yes, but mm -hmm. let them be fun. Mm -hmm. There is no danger. Would it be fair to say that humans who are a little more evolved are more sensitive to those warnings and alerts, whereas some who are not so evolved just wouldn't even notice them? Define, evolve. Uh, higher vibration, um, 
versus lower vibration? Well, the answer is within your own sentence. Yes. Because if you have a higher vibration, so to speak, then you are more aware of other vibrations. Yes. Mm -hmm. And you become more sensitized to vibrations that are more obvious to you. For if they are more obvious to you, then why wouldn't you be more sensitized to it? It comes hand in hand. I think a lot of people would like to be more in touch with their angel. And uh, I guess in the same breath, I would say more in touch with their soul. Do you have any tips or ideas for how people can communicate and be in touch more with their inner self, angel, soul? You can. Yeah. You can all, if you are wanting this, to be more in touch with your soul, your inner soul, your inner being, you can first have faith and then you can begin to, in a sense, yes, feel the realness of the soul, the angel, the truth, the core. In other words, you can begin to fall in love with yourself. And so when you wake up, remember there is a sun in the sky and it is warm and comforting. And it beams down on planet Earth, right where you stay. Remember, the core of you is that which is soul, that which is love. And so when you acknowledge those things that are of love, and of your core belief, when you acknowledge those things that are a vibrational match to your soul, your, the love within you, you are mating with your own soul. And so your angel, you are milking your angel, so to speak, so that it bursts into life physical manifestation so that it bursts into live emotional manifestation so that it bursts into obvious ways so that you know that you are in touch to the point where you begin to maintain consistent in touchness or alignment with your angel everyone has one if you wish to speak it that way, yes. You mentioned manifest physically. And um, one more thing. And yes. when you go to sleep at night, you can bask and remember that you are always safe. Go to sleep remembering that the moon is in the sky. And it's there, and it is, and there is nothing that anyone can do about that. You are always safe. Mate with your soul. Get in touch with your angel, your inner being, for you are that. And know that. Yes. This is really a... Um feelings exercise, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, the mind doesn't have a big role here. Mm. That's tough for humans. Oh, that's a belief. 
Uh, yeah, you got me. You're probably right. <laughs> they are oh. right. I know. Yeah. Now, you did mention uh, manifesting physically, and um, we hear stories every once in a while of somebody thinking they saw an angel. Now, if the angel is an aspect of the person's inner self, does it actually project out into the physical world in some ways, under certain circumstances sometimes? Yes, it is possible for others to see angels, but really what is happening is an individual is aware of another individual being in full concert with their inner being. Mm -hmm. Yes. And so they are witnessing an angel in effect. You can say you are that which is an angel. Okay. So wrapping my mind around this, if I see an angel, that's an indication that I'm in touch with my inner being, my soul. And that angel is really just reflecting that relationship. And so are you saying, are you in touch with the angel within you when you are seeing an angel? Is that? Well, it's really my question, I think. Um, Yes, when I see the angel, it's indicative that I am getting more in touch with my inner self. And so are you asking, is this a reflection when you are seeing an angel? Is this a reflection of you being in touch with your angel? Yeah. Because it is. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I was just checking that I understood that. Yeah. Yeah. We don't have a whole lot of time here, but I was wondering, from your perspective, if you had a message for all of humanity at this time, what would it be? We would say to all of humanity, Cookies and cream. If you dream the cookies and cream, turns. from a dream. Pay close attention to that sentence yet. Cookies and cream. If you shall dream, the cookies and cream turn from a dream. Yes. I think that is what we would say to all of humanity so that they soften up on themselves and be more sweet to one another, for they do not have to project fear onto one another just because they are not believing in themselves as much as they are wanting to. For things are changing and the positive momentum snowball effect is carrying on. It is all right. And things are manifesting in perfect orchestration. This is an exciting year and perhaps might be the most exciting year for the next three to four years. Yes, maybe even five. Yes, but we're reaching it. Yes. Is it kind of a turning point where people start to discern things for themselves and realize that they don't have to rely on government or medical yes. system. Yes, yeah. yes. Peter, yes. You must be psychic because you are spot on. Yes. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, I, I have wondered that maybe the best message COVID gave us was that, um, or I think it'll be revealed that COVID really was not what our governments and medical systems and media were telling us. And when we realize that, we will have been shaken enough that we're going to start to think for ourselves and be discerning and not rely on these outside agencies to tell us how to live our lives. But is it is not, kind of a to, in a sense, but it is not, yes, not quite. It is not to be, in a sense, to be out of spite. We understand this, that individuals are not creating these experiences for themselves to hurt anyone intentionally. Mm -hmm. They just don't know what they are doing. Although they know what they are doing, they don't know. And it's all right. Make peace and move forward. Well, the good message is that this is going to be a year of transition and, uh, yes. and turn around for humanity. That's wonderful. Well, Angel T, I think our time is up for today. And uh, I thank you very much for uh, doing this with us. And I uh, wish you many blessings. And um, I think we will be having further conversations. Bye for now. Yes, bye for now. And Tammy, you just come back in your own timing. When Angel T comes through, the energy level goes up a little bit, doesn't it? Okay. Okay. <laughs> How do you feel? You look a little girl, uh, sort of dazed. <laughs> do you feel okay. the energy of uh, Angel T? Um, currently, yes. Yeah. It just seemed that you were talking at a certain energy level, and then when she came in, all of a sudden it was much higher. Um, I've never been so, I don't know, I've, I've never been this highly energetic after a channeling session. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it seems to affect everybody a little differently, but um, yeah, it's fairly common that um, you feel just a, a burst of energy. And that's great. Well, Tammy, this has been good. Uh, Angel T has been good, and um, I think uh, people enjoyed hearing about yourself. If people want to get in touch with you, what's the best way for them to do that? Okay, well, I have an email address. It's Gmail. And it's essence t at gmail.com. It's spelled lowercase e, everything's lowercase e s s o n at or e s s o n c e t at gmail.com. And yeah, so that's pretty much you can every, everyone, anyone who wants to, you know, get you know, know. learn about Angel C, they can um, get in touch with me with that Gmail account yeah okay i'm going to um, put a screen at the end of this video that will have that address would you like your phone number there or is that necessary at this time sure it, okay. well let me uh i want to think about that one okay yeah because i only thing i have a the only thing is i have a text plus uh phone number and it's not necessarily a phone number. It's an at phone number, but it still works as a phone. So. Okay. Well, if somebody wants to get in touch with you, they'll have your email address, and I'm sure they'll yeah. be persistent. Now, um, I guess the reason people might want to get in touch with you is that you're willing to do a one-on-one -on -one session with them and Angel T. And um, I think in the future, you'll probably be doing some group events. Would that be the case, or is that your ambition to uh, do some group events someday? What's a group event? 
Well, the kind of thing that, um, you know, on Sunday afternoons, for example, uh, the second Sunday of each month, I have uh, a guest channeler who uh, channels for uh, an audience. There's uh, maybe 20, 30 people that show up and they ask questions and the being they channel responds. So you could be a guest channeler one day. You could do that sort of thing on your own. Um, these days without COVID around, uh, we can get back into, you know, little meeting rooms and things like that and have a group show up and uh, you channel for them. Are you up for that sort of thing? I'm all in. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You got the attitude. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Tammy, thanks very much for doing this. This is uh, wonderful. It's, um, it's really great to see both you and Angel T. And to the audience, thank you very much for attending and watching this video. And I'll say for now, over and out. <laughs>